Okay, let's go ahead and do this. The third culture lie was um, one that sounds actually, it sounds pretty good, and there's parts of it that, that might even be, dare I say, true. And that's believe in yourself. you got to believe in yourself. It's not like every Disney movie we see. But what the Bible says is substantially different. Uh, Proverbs 13, 12 says, There is a way that seems right to a person, but its end is the way to death. And then Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And then Proverbs 28, 26 says, Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. And then the last one is Jeremiah 17, 9, which says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? So there's one thing that we see resoundingly in the Bible is that you should not be believing in yourself. And... So let's have, let's talk about that for just a second because it's not quite so open and shut. First off, it, it's good to be confident and decisive to a degree. So um, when I say be confident, I'm talking about, you know, some people have this idea of, oh, I can't do anything right. Like, oh, you know, you know I'm just too big of a mess to, to anything. And... You should depend on God, but then also, like, there's a point where you don't really need to depend on God. Like, I don't have to depend on God to brush my teeth. You know what I mean? I get that you do. Like, you were like, oh, leave it in God's hands. Like, well, he expects you to do things yourself. Like, right. You free will for a reason. Right. It's not like, it's like, if someone's about to shoot you in the face, you're like, God, I know you're going to make this bullet turn around. Like, right. So, like, yeah. So, okay, I'm going to walk out in, in, in front of traffic and just... Pray to God and stand in faith. No, no, you're going to not walk in front of traffic. And it's just like that. So, yes, you should be confident, but that doesn't mean that you're not depending on God. Um, and then decisive. When I say decisive, here's the problem is when people hear decisive, they, they think that that means I have to just choose a course and stick with it to, to my dying breath. But that's not true. Be decisive, but also be willing to learn and to change. Like, be decisive. Know what you're going to do and stick, and stick with it. But if you find out that what you're doing is wrong, then change it. Like, adapt. And uh, the problem with the whole believe in yourself philosophy is that we can't just do everything on our own. Like, we are all products of the people who came before us. We stand on their shoulders. And uh, society doesn't run by a single person. Families don't run by a single person. You can't do it all on your own. Um, in St. Corinthians, uh, Paul actually wrote uh, that he despaired of life itself. And he said that this happened so that they would learn to trust in God who can raise the dead. It was just something that they, they couldn't do it on their own. Um, they weren't strong enough or capable enough. So, you know, you can't do it on your own. Um, and the, the, one of the big problems that I found in life is that you will always let yourself down. You will never have all the answers. You'll never have your act together. You'll never feel great all the time. It's just not going to happen. Um, as I look back on, on, my, on my life, I've realized how much that feelings actually do change. So most of my major life decisions, I was convinced that they were right. But uh, it turned out that um, that they were wrong, and I, and I really did need others. Uh, I, as far as who to marry, that was something that I didn't come to grips on my own. Uh, what job I should get, that wasn't something I figured out on my own. Where to move, that was something I didn't figure out on my own. Um, and it's not just the big life decisions either. It's the small choices too, like, you know, uh, what food to eat? Here's a great example. You know, oh, I really feel like tacos, and you go, and it doesn't fit well, and you didn't really enjoy it. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, it's just, it just, your feelings change. You, you can't really depend on yourself to always know uh, what's best. And um, there's a lot of times when I've been in a situation that I knew how it was going to go, and it didn't turn out that way at all. So the solution to this is uh, th this culture lie of believe in yourself is relatively simple, and I'll, and I'll kind of summarize it with these two verses. In John 14, 1, Jesus says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. And uh, we're not told to believe in ourselves. We're not any of that. We're told to depend on, on Jesus. And then Proverbs 15, 22 says, Without counsel, plans fail, but with many advisors, they succeed. So we can summarize these two verses by saying that there's two ways to combat the believe in yourself lie. First off, you need others. Second off, you need God. And I think that when we look at this, the Bible gives us encouragement that it's okay to fail. Um, that the point is not whether to fail or not. The point is to grow. And I think that that's really uh, what the Bible is, is working towards. 